smuggling drugs into jails, and there is almost nothing authorities can do to stop it. Yeah, drones are the newest tool for criminals looking to deliver to those on the inside. And as investigative reporter Christopher Heath discovered, it's already made its way to Florida. A small drone like this one can lift about a pound, more than enough to deliver a package here. In the last two years, prisons across the country have reported contraband delivered by drone. August 2015, an attempted delivery of pot and porn near Baltimore. October the same year, a drone carrying drugs and blades crashed into a prison in McAllister, Oklahoma. August 2016, a small riot in Mansfield, Ohio, after a drone dropped drugs. And earlier this year, federal officials say they suspect a drone was being used to deliver contraband to Miami's prison. It comes down to we're extending the technological capabilities of this uh, uh, system. Dr. Brent Terwilliger teaches unmanned systems at Embry-Riddle. With the level of manufacturing that's being uh, injected into this technology, it, you can find it anywhere from Best Buy to Walmart. In the last five years, the cost of drones has dropped, making them more accessible. While they're sold like toys, they're treated like aircraft by the FAA. That means prisons can track them, but they can't jam their signal or shoot them down. That system that you can order online right now, you can, you can take that beyond its legal limits. The Florida Department of Corrections in a statement told Nine Investigates that it is looking for countermeasures, saying, quote, the department is proactively looking into drone detection systems. Here in the city of Orlando, you need a permit just to operate a drone. That's why we're using a GoPro on a stick. Of course, anyone who's willing to break the law to deliver contraband inside a prison probably doesn't care much about ordinances or federal aviation rules. Other states have considered laws that would make flying a drone near a prison a felony, but experts say as drones get more advanced, that would be hard to enforce. And Florida prisons do try and keep an eye out for drones flying near the property. Right now, most inexpensive drones don't have enough power to really lift a lot of weight, just a few pounds. However, that's changing, and prisons and jails are now looking for ways to monitor the airspace nearby, giving them better chances for detection if anything is dropped.